Hi crafty friends, I'm back with you today to share another quick tip and this is using either a single stamp or multiple stamps to create one large stamp. Today I'm going to use one of the celebration items, this is delicate details. And using a large block what I'm going to do is simply layer up my stamped my stamps in whatever orientation that you want so when you've got your stamps onto your block then you can simply just go ahead and stamp as such for today's example I'm going to emboss using clear embossing powder so taking a piece of whisper white I just run over it with my embossing buddy and for a large stamp it's easier to bring the stamp pad to the stamp rather than taking your stamp to the pad. And now I'm just going to go along and stamp with the Versamark. So you can't really see it there, but it has been thoroughly stamped with the Versamark. So now using my clear embossing powder, I'm going to cover my cardstock. And then you need to heat this with your heat tool. So now we get to the fun part, coloring our cardstock. To start, I'm going to colour using Peekaboo Peach and a sponge roller. When you're using a brayer or a sponge roller, less is more. You can always go and add more ink, but it is very difficult, if not impossible, to take it away. So, with some ink on our roller, we're going to simply roll down. And go back every so often and fill up your roller. There you are. So I've created an ombre effect by intensifying or using the roller more often on one side and lighter application at the other end. Now to really make that pop, just grab a tissue and rub over your stamped image. Now because the cardstock underneath was white and we've used clear embossing powder, whatever colour the cardstock is underneath is what will show through. Another way that we can colour our cardstock is with misters. So using our stamp and spritzer, I have some mint macaron and I'm just going to mist over the top. Now you can either let that dry naturally or you can speed it up with your heat tool. But it is important to use the low heat setting, not the high heat, otherwise you are going to remelt that embossing powder. Once it's dry, simply go over the top with your tissue again to bring out that embossing. So there you are, a very effective way of using a number of stamps together to create a beautiful background. Thanks for watching guys, until next time, stay crafty, bye!